And yet, would he get along with people like Albert Einstein and maybe uh, George Bernard Shaw, who were geniuses in their field? Well, uh, Einstein had lunch at our house one day when I was married to Charlie. Yes. Of course, I was very young. I was only 16. To me, Einstein was just a dirty old man. <laughs> his hair hung over his collar in the back. He looked like he hadn't had a bath for a month. Yes. And he had a dreamy kind of a sad look out of his eyes, and he was... A real peculiar old guy to me. Yes. Uh, of course, at 16, you know, and never having been out of the state of California, I was pretty green. Yes, you were. And uh, uh, that was that was what I felt about him. I could didn't appreciate his genius at all. And uh, I remember one thing about that luncheon. I remember that they didn't find very much to talk about until they got on the subject of music. Hmm. And then they, they seemed to enjoy each other. They talked about the classics. On the, Einstein was very interested in music. And, uh, I think he must have played an instrument. Didn't know that. Hmm. Uh, Einstein. Yeah. Which one was it, Mr. I don't know. Did, did he I'm trying to remember. I heard that not too long ago that he played, uh, I don't know whether he played piano or organ or what. Hmm. But uh, Charlie was, played everything, you know, and with no lessons. Amazing. Just natural on the music. Yeah, a natural musician. That is amazing. Yeah. Hmm. So, I don't know what else to tell you about Charlie, except that he was, as you say, a very complex yes. man. Yes, yes. And uh, in, in the time slot in history that he, that he did his work, he was probably the best, the best in the world at it, and there'll never be another one like him. No, no. Totally unique. Oh, yeah. Totally unique. Absolutely. 